piping hot. They are piping hot. Hey, but they're piping hot. What's up, YouTube? It's Gavin. Cody. And we are back again with another sauce video for you. Um, they're cold. I don't care. <laughs> is that we have six sauces. I don't know how hot they are at all. So that's what we're going to do. We're, we're just going to do a straight up taste test, guys. These are in no arrangement due to Scoville whatsoever. But we're going to start this way and move this way. And for just a little bit of moral support today, we have the one, the only, Dwight K. Schrute from The Office. And it's actually worth it. You should just go buy them all on DVD. It's a good, uh, like, binge watching. Do they make DVDs anymore? Yeah. Do they? Okay. Yeah. Well, I just, you know, DVDs, we're in a new age now. DVDs are so retro. So. <laughs> right? Aren't they? <laughs> sure. All right. <laughs> we're going to start with this one right here, guys. The Daddle Hook Ya. Maybe it's Dattle. Dattle? Dattle. 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 sounds better. Dattle. Okay, we're going to go with Dattle. 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 Hello. Sounds like saying daddy in another language. Daddy in another language. Accent. Accent. The spice and flavors will bring tacos to life, add irresistible taste to oysters and clams, and still respect the lightness of fish. Don't worry, putting it on chicken, burgers, or steak will fire them up to That'll hook you. You nervous? <laughs> I don't think this is gonna be that hot. But I don't know. You wanna smell? I'm gonna put a lot of sauce on each of these just cause. Yeah, you babied on the sauce last time. I did what? You babied on the sauce last time. Except for on the dab. Except for the last dab. That one was... That's all. One, two, three. That would be good on tacos. It's almost like a spicy barbecue sauce. It's almost like the sauce that I make, but spicier. I don't know, that has the perfect amount of heat. I don't, in my opinion. I don't taste the spice. I mean, I, I taste spice. But it's not like, like your stuff spicier. Really? You think yeah. so? I think. So that's, that'll hook you. I'm gonna say it one more time. That, that was the last time, but you wanna say it once? <laughs> <laughs> Next we have the Hank sauce, guys. And we tried the, which one we tried last time? It was just called Hank's Heat. It was like their original hot sauce, I think. It was very, very tasty. It was kind of mild. It had habaneros in it, but it wasn't very spicy. Habanero. I didn't think it was that spicy. I thought it was very flavorful. Very, very good on wings. I might have been numb at that point. Yeah, you were kind of like, um, I mean, I believe at that point I said, this is delicious and like surprisingly mild or something in the video. And you were like, don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, so look, it's camouflage. Yeah, and that's what the sauce is called. <laughs> camouflage hot sauce. Oh, nice. The uh, buttery buffalo. Yeah, that buttery Butter smell buff. that like, hot buffalo wings give off with like original sauce. That's what that smells like. It smells like original buffalo sauce. So just like the last lineup, guys, we are using Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets just because they're awesome. I love wings, don't get me wrong, but this is- uh, We need some fresh wings for one. Yeah, we're challenge. definitely, um, you know what? I'll go ahead and say it right now. I'll commit to fresh hot chicken wings on the bone, traditional next sauce video that we do. That would be really good on wings. It does kind of taste like a buffalo sauce. So, it's cold. The sauce for anything that needs something. Oh, okay, it's fair enough. I mean, you could definitely put this on anything. So just like the other one, guys, it says that it's good on beef, chicken, pork, eggs, dinosaurs, <laughs> fish, pretzels, <laughs> Soups or pizza? You gotta look that up and see why they put put a two rex on there. <clears throat> As of right now, I'll still go uh, go with this one. You have to till hook you. That to hook you. That to hook you. I don't think this is Irish at all. But <laughs> that that to hook you. All right, 
Next up, we got the AR's Hot Southern Honey, natural 100% peach hot sauce. The sweet heat of the South, product of Virginia. Oh, peach hot sauce from Virginia? No, oh, trust it. But we're in Georgia. We'll just have to see, we'll have to see. Ingredients, peaches, habanero peppers, honey, water, ginger, coriander, turmeric, 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 garlic, lemon juice, apple cider vinegar. All right, so this might be a little tangy, a little tart, and hopefully sweet since it has honey in it. And peach. Yeah, and peach. Gluten-free, fat-free, sodium-free. So this is gonna be I a like very- peach flavors, do you? Do I? Yeah, besides um, like a peach ring, like, like just peach flavored stuff, do you like it? Yeah, I mean, pretty much. Oh, you already just, man, yeah, it's, it's, like it's, it's a flavor. I like peach pretty good. It's very spicy, and I don't mean like heat, like pepper spicy, it's like, it smells like something that you would have during the holidays or something, or like in a cider. It's very herb forward. Oh wow, okay, just going right for it. Oh, that's left, sweet. Left me behind. Hmm. Whoa. It's got a kick to it. Yeah, there's a little heat. Right after a layer of sweet. Yeah. The heat hit. That's like a good balance. I like that. It's a good kick. Yeah, out of nowhere. It was like, it was like, it was like, sweet, pow! <laughs> it was like, it came through out of nowhere. Like, it was like, but this is gonna it, be super sweet. Like, yeah. you said sweet, was, and then I put it in my mouth, and then as soon as, it hit my mouth, you were already feeling heat. <laughs> and then as soon as I looked at you, I felt it. And I was like, wow. But the flavor of that. The flavor is great. The flavor is really good. I was trying to figure out why you would put that on. Dude, even like a, like some chicken cut up on like a rice pilaf and just drizzled on there. Ooh. Yeah. Guys, this is a really good sauce. It is good. Um, really sweet. A little spice in there mixed in like the spice really took me by surprise but after the sweet and the spicy the flavor is absolutely amazing i mean you get everything that says it's in here so so far that's my favorite heartbeat hot sauce thunder bay pineapple habanero that's that's mm. yeah. uh, pineapple yellow peppers onion distilled vinegar habaneros or organic cane sugar Lime juice, kosher salt, garlic, ale, water, hops, malted barley, yeast. Oh, there's beer in this? There's like an ale? Yeah. Ale, water, hops. Sleeping Giant Brewing Company, dude. That's cool. It's a pretty looking sauce, too. Looks like honey mustard. Yeah. It does kind of look like honey mustard. It almost looks like the color of like a like a like scotch bonnet habanero but i don't know <clears throat> what this is going to be <clears throat> smell a lot yeah a little bit all right so dwight dwight approved heartbeat hot sauce with a lot of ingredients in it including beer so that's interesting. Dude, I smell onion. Was there onion? Mm-hmm. Yeah? I smell onion, definitely smell pepper, and I guess a little bit of sweetness in there from hopefully yeah, pineapple. So, let's go for it. That's good. I'm waiting to see if the heat builds a little. It's building a little bit. It's like a slow, slow yeah, burn. Yeah, this is a slow burn. Um, and when it comes, when the heat actually shows up, it's kind of like that habanero stinginess um, right where you put the, right where you put the sauce. Um, made with Sleeping Giant Beaver Duck Session IPA. That's cool. Beaver Duck? Yeah, apparently it's a, a Indian pale ale named Beaver Duck. <laughs> Okay. 
Are you ready? Mm-hmm. You sure? Yeah. Are you sure? All right, guys. We took a brief intermission. Cody needs some coffee. Don't and judge he, me. <laughs> he did it up real fancy. So. The last one we had was the heartbeat hot sauce, pineapple habanero. We said that it was pretty awesome. Had a lot of sweetness and then a little bit of spicy, a little stingy at the end. So um, overall, pretty good. I'd give it like a seven out of 10. Moving on, we have Los Calientes, the classic from Hot Ones, guys. So before the last lineup we did, the Hot Ones lineup, we had the Los Calientes, I mean, he's just going to town on this creamer over here. <laughs> thought you were doing a beat. I thought you were doing. Um, <laughs> just go ahead. Just go ahead. <laughs> just go ahead. <sighs> Gotta love this guy. So, from first we feast and hot ones, we have Los Calientes, the classic sauce. It's a beer day inspired sauce. And it was the first Los Calientes that Hot Ones had. Now they have the Los Calientes Rojo. It's the one we tried last time and it is absolutely delicious. I've already burned through the whole bottle, had to order more. So now we're gonna try the classic one here. Heat level's a five out of 10. It smells like something familiar. Familiar? Yeah. <laughs> something familiar. Like another sauce? Hippy Dippy Green? Brooklyn? Uh, Brooklyn Green Market? Maybe something from like Taco Bell or something. All right, let's go for it. This is a very, very flavorful sauce. Very, very good for someone that wants to stick around the mild range. Um, there's a little bit of heat picking up with it, but not very much. It's more flavor, sweet. Flavor is very, very good. Um, you could almost just pour this into a bowl and eat it with some chips like salsa. Um, yeah, it does have a, a really big sweetness to it. This is this is not heat forward at all. The second version of this with the uh, the Rojo was definitely hotter. Um, packs a lot more flavor in my opinion, but this one, solid, solid choice if you want something mild and something just super refreshing. So Los Calientes Classic. This right here is actually the Crap. Hot Ones Classic sauce. I had about this much left in the bottle and I decided to do something wild. So I added the Pain is Good Habanero sauce, Pain is Good Jalapeno sauce, Pain is Good Chipotle sauce, the Yucateca Green Habanero Sauce, the Bird's Eye Chili, Double X Hot Peri Peri Sauce, the Green Market Sauce. We added a little bit of Triple X, the last dab. We have some Iguana, Whoa. Triple X Atomic Wait. in there. How much is a little bit of the last dab? Just a little. I'm talking about like this much on like probably a half dab, half dab on a, on a piece of, on a toothpick that we put in the bottle. So it's been well shaken. Shake it up more if you want. Um, we got Moore's Habanero Marinade and Sauce. We got the Year of the Dog Thai Chili Sauce. We got the Hank's Heat, the Caribbean Hot Sauce from Charman. We have the Los Calientes Rojo and Ring of Fire Habanero hot sauce in this. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 sauces in one bottle, guys. And it's actually been sitting in that bottle in the refrigerator for about a week and a half. So all the juices, all the different sauces have had time to bind together. That has a good consistency to it. Yeah, I mean, it looks good on here ready uh, was that that charman that was the uh, kind of chunky there, fruity there's a lot i mean this in there but there's a lot of chunky fruity <clears throat> sauces in this all right one two three how could it be so good i don't know but that's pretty good <laughs> 
15 sauces in one made a mega sauce. And it's actually pretty fire. I felt some heat coming. There's some heat burning. Um, it actually made a really pretty sauce though. Right. Like, like, it's like most it actually time you, looks like a sauce that you buy in the store. Most of the time when you throw a bunch of sauces together, it looks like junk. Like an accident. This, I mean, it wasn't an accident, it was intentional, but it really is a pretty that sauce. That's pretty good. So overall, favorite one of the day. I do my top three. Okay, top three. Number three. Los Calientes. Number two. Number one. I'm gonna say today, this would be my number one as well. Um, I really had a soft spot for the Daddle Hook Ya. Daddle Hook Ya. And I did like the Pineapple Habanero, I did like Los Calientes, and this surprisingly came out on fire. Really solid sauce. I'm happy with how it mixed, and I wanna do more sauce mixing videos, so. Keep you posted on that, but I'm gonna have to go with Hank's for number three because I am, unlike Cody, I am a fan of the Hank sauces and I do just wanna try some Hank's slathered on some chicken wings. This one, just originality and flavor all packed into this and it's the one I was most skeptical about, guys. It's all natural. And that's the one that surprised you the most, too. Gluten-free, fat-free, sodium-free. I mean, that's crazy, guys. It has one carb and one gram of sugar. And for all of the natural flavors that are in this, it gives it so much flavor. Well, that thing is crazy. It's like super sweet. Yeah, it's... And then like two, three it's seconds almost, later, like it turns off and it's, you get that heat coming. Uh, we had some delicious sauces today. Dwight K. Shree was here to monitor everything, keep us in line, and make sure that we didn't run out of paper. Um, so <laughs> we had a we had a blast. Cody, thanks for coming. Thanks for being in the video. Since we had all the spicy, we're going sweet and sour with some Sour Patch Kids Chips Ahoy. <laughs> no, we're not. Is that limited edition? <laughs> this is no joke. Oh man! Grab one. Really? All right. This is what it looks like, guys. Oh, it smells It smells like it. I'm gonna go full cookie, one bite, and just chew it up. Full cookie? Full cookie. Okay. <laughs> they're so weird. Limited edition, they shouldn't last long because they're not good, guys. It tastes like if you left chocolate chip cookies, the Chips Ahoy original, in the pantry for about three years and then you found it. And then instead of it being like covered in moldy fuzz, um, it's actually just little sour pieces mixed in and it's like gone sour. It'd be like a Chips Ahoy chocolate chip cookie. With Sour Patch Kids. Had a baby with like Fruity Pebbles. And then this is what it was. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. See you next time. Peace out.